this video, how to cut your creatinine level in half. Gathering here, I've been helping people take control of their health for more than a decade now. And when it comes to chronic kidney disease, many people are worried. They want to see their creatinine level go down, not up at their next lab test. This is why today we are going to see 10 ways to lower your creatinine level fast and to protect your kidneys. Don't miss today's number one in particular because that one was used to cut creatinine in half. But all the tips of today's video are going to be crucial because creatinine is one of the main indicators of kidney function. And if you can lower it, it means your kidneys are doing better. So let's start immediately with our number 10. Take a garlic supplement. Garlic is amazing. There are tons of studies telling us that garlic is extremely effective against hypertension. It can lower systolic and diastolic pressure by an average of 8.3 over 5.5 millimeters of mercury, says a big meta-analysis. This is comparable to what you will get from standard antihypertensive medications and it will be a terrific help in lowering creatinine level as well. And garlic has a long list of kidney protecting benefits. It's an anti-inflammatory, it helps with diabetes, it can actually improve your insulin resistance while also increasing insulin production. It also helps with cholesterol and more. So consider a garlic supplement such as kaiolic or add raw chopped garlic to your regimen. But why is garlic so great, you may ask? Well, because most kidney disease patients need to defeat hypertension before they can defeat kidney disease. And most antihypertensive medications have been linked to a long list of unwanted effects, including causing to high potassium levels and even kidney damage. This is why you want to consider natural alternatives such as garlic in order not to depend too much on prescriptions. And since we will see other remedies for high blood pressure as well today, don't forget to monitor your blood pressure regularly and to write down your progress. Tip to improve your creatine level number nine. Okay, this is even more important. Drink at least eight glasses of water per day and at regular intervals. And the reason why you want to do that is not what you think. Because while it's true that drinking enough water protects the kidneys in several ways, those that are going to benefit more from being well hydrated are those with diabetes. The kidneys need plenty of water to flush out excess toxins from the body, including excess sodium, urea, creatinine, and also sugar. Science says that when you are dehydrated, you are more at risk for a glycemic spike. So protect your kidneys, and especially, but not just, if you have diabetes. Always drink at least 8 glasses per day. And the 8 glasses a day thing may be an oversimplification, but unless you have a water restriction, drink lots of water. Number 8. Here is a super effective way to lower your creatinine level that works for everyone. Get prescribed a vitamin D analog. A huge number of CKD patients suffer from vitamin D deficiency. And when I say huge, I mean it. Up to 84.7% of kidney disease patients have low levels of this vitamin. And you absolutely don't want that. This deficiency is linked to fast kidney damage. But the reason why you can lower your creatinine level fast by taking this vitamin is not what you think. Because you see, it's true that supplementing this vitamin is linked to improved proteinuria levels. But there is another reason why this helps. As we have seen, 
ACE inhibitors and ARBs are still the most used form of blood pressure control in CKD patients, even if they are dangerous. The reason why they work is because they block the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, alright? These prescriptions are, in fact, also called RAS or renin angiotensin aldosterone system blocker. But guys, do you know what else blocks the RAS, decreasing your blood pressure instantly? Yeah, it's vitamin D. When your level for this vitamin is too low, like in up to 84.7% of CKD patients, your blood pressure is going to be out of whack and blood pressure medicines are not going to work as they should. Always get checked for vitamin D deficiency and also ask your doctor for a vitamin D analog if you have CKD. And now you may ask, knowing how this vitamin works, why are doctors giving an ACE inhibitor to CKD patients before even checking their vitamin D levels? I don't know, but you can be smarter than that and take vitamin D. Number 7. Another super smart decision you could make right now. Start exercising regularly. When it comes to lowering your creatinine fast, nothing beats an exercising program. And the reason is clear. Exercising lowers your blood pressure more effectively than any medication known to man. Exercising is also the way to beat diabetes because when paired to a weight loss diet, it targets visceral fat. The real cause of diabetes way better than the diet alone. Exercising is also great for your heart and for all causes mortality, at the point that even dialysis patients are recommended to exercise regularly. Okay guys, I know that some of you are probably watching me from their pelotons or from their treadmills right now. So if you are one of them, please let everyone in comment section know how much better exercising makes you feel. Yeah, my quest is to make more people exercise and less people end up in dialysis and you can definitely help with that. So share your experience down in comment section, let everyone know. Up next, number 6. This is a tip that can give you results that are immediately visible. Number 6 is take 3 to 400 milligrams of magnesium oxide every day. Magnesium is incredibly important if your aim is to lower your creatinine level. And not just because people with CKD are usually too low in this mineral, or because taking this cheap and safe supplement can reduce vascular calcification and mortality among patients with CKD, or because magnesium is an alkalizing agent that also prevents phosphate absorption. No, it's not just that. Magnesium is also incredibly useful for people suffering from high blood pressure, at the point that researchers call it a magic bullet. And there is more. Magnesium supplementation is also key to fight diabetes. You see, having diabetes is known to cause low levels of magnesium. This is a problem because low magnesium levels will cause insulin resistance, making your diabetes worse. This is why taking 3 to 400 milligrams of magnesium oxide every day is a great way to lower your creatinine level. Number 5. Okay, let's talk about the next big thing for the treatment for CKD. And no, it's not stem cells, it's not some expensive medication. This is something you can start doing right now and that will give you a health benefit you will be able to see written black and white at your neck scheduled lab test. Number 5 is improving your antioxidant level. Many people still don't believe this, but this is a science proven fact. Antioxidants can improve the filtering ability of the kidney and lower creatinine level. This is from a meta-analysis published on the Cochrane Library. For those of you that are not familiar with the Cochrane Library, let's just say that we are talking about the best of the best when it comes to scientific evidence. This is like saying it's a confirmed fact. So what should you do in order to improve your antioxidant intake? Well, the diet is key here. You want to add as many antioxidant-rich foods as possible. You know, berries, fruit in general, veggies, legumes, and so on. Remember, many of the foods rich in antioxidants are blue, red, orange, or black. Now, 
And there is also a trick I always recommend when it comes to antioxidant, and it's an easy one. Number four, add a splash of lemon juice to your green tea. Okay, this is probably the easiest tip today, but it's going to work. We have just seen that antioxidants are incredibly important when it comes to lowering creatinine level. What not many people know about antioxidants is that we get way more antioxidants from beverages such as tea and coffee than any food in our diet. This is a proven fact, by the way. This is why you should follow this tip and turn your green tea into the best antioxidant source in your diet. But how does it work, you may ask? You see, green tea is full of catechines, very powerful antioxidants. They have been shown to reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as CKD, but also cancer and cardiovascular disorders. Now the problem, a study found out that we only absorb 20% or less of the catechines in green tea. This is where lemon juice makes a difference. Citrus juices, including lemon, can increase the absorption of catechines by more than five times. Amazing! So, add a squeeze of lemon juice and enjoy a tea that's five times as rich in antioxidants. Time for our number three now. Okay guys, we are in the top three now. Each one of these tips will be able to make a huge difference. Don't miss our number one in particular because that's how people have cut their creatinine in half. Before that, number three, a tip that alone saved the life of several kidney patients. This is drastically reduce your phosphorus absorption. Okay guys, you probably already know that cutting your phosphorus intake, avoiding processed foods and animal-based foods, is the cornerstone of the renal diet. But you see, phosphorus is so bad for the kidneys that when we go one step farther and we reduce the absorption of phosphorus from all the other sources in our diet, we can witness a miracle. In a case report I've recently talked about here on Double O Kidney, we have seen how a patient was able to go from stage 5 to stage 2 just by adding 3 to 5 cents worth of niacin per day plus calcium carbonate. So from risking dialysis to normal kidney function with a couple of supplements aimed at controlling phosphorus absorption. I know that this may sound incredible, but you see, excess phosphorus is a real poison and it's the number one driver of arterial calcification. So if you want to know more about how reducing phosphorus absorption can protect your kidneys, my video up here and also down in the description is for you. But don't go away yet, it's time to talk about the number two most important tip to improve. Number two in particular is strictly correlated to phosphorus as well and you absolutely want to follow this tip. Number two is use an app to track your nutrients intake, protein in particular. Look, don't miss this tip. There is a huge number of influencers on YouTube today that call themselves doctors and that are recommending people with CKD to eat more red meat. What these charlatans forget is that there are two things in meat that will destroy your kidneys if you have CKD, phosphorus and protein. In your foods, these two always go together and they can be the number one enemy of your kidneys, especially if they come from animal-based sources. It's not a secret that drastically reducing the amount of animal-based foods on your table is a way to protect your kidneys. But when it comes to protein, you must go one step farther. This is what our number two for today is all about. This is going to help you solve the biggest obstacle on the road to a better kidney health. Because you see, a renal diet must provide an exact daily amount of protein, all right? 0.55 to 0.60 grams per kilogram per day of protein for non-diabetics and 0.60 to 0.8 gram per kilogram per day of protein for diabetics. This is not optional. This is a hard rule. 
And there is a reason why dietitians are supposed to follow rules like this when prescribing a diet to CKD patients. Because studies are linking too high protein intake to a rapid decline in kidney function. Now the scary part, some of these studies were done on CKD patients that were on a low protein diet while being monitored by a renal dietitian. So these patients were trying to follow a low protein diet with the help of a dietitian and they still lost kidney function. So if you are doing everything you can to lower your creatinine but nothing seems to work, what happened to them may be happening to you as well. Their problem was that they were getting too much protein. You don't want to do that if your goal is to lower your creatinine level. Don't worry, there is a solution and it's free. In fact, the best solution, in my opinion, is to double check that you are on top of your diet by using one of those free calorie counter apps you can download on your phone. They are actually very easy to use. You basically just weight everything you eat on a kitchen scale and you input the food and then weight into the app. There are various free or freemium apps you can use. Nutritionix, MyFitnessPal, Chronometer, Lucid and more. What these apps give you is the total of the calories, protein, carbohydrates and fats you are getting every day. And this will be a better way of managing your diet than just blindly following a diet, says science. A way to make sure protein intake is not damaging your kidneys. And guys, one of the most important things you can use this app to track would be our number one. Our number one is a super easy tip that gave the chance to this man of cutting his creatinine level in half. Okay, as you can see, his GFR improved by 73%, which means that his creatinine was more than cut in half. But how can this be done, you may ask? Number one is... Follow a plant-based diet. This may seem too easy, but it works. For some patients, all that it takes to cut their creatinine in half is to give up any animal-based food and processed food in their diet and to start eating plant-based foods only. This is what happened to a 69-year-old CKD patient that went from rapidly approaching end-stage renal disease to complete remission from CKD. And his diet was super easy. And guys, if you want to learn more about his story, my video up here is for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.